really the difference between acute and chronic care models is the difference between giving patients a fish versus teaching them to fish, right? And I mean, that's used in lots of situations, but it's, it kind of makes sense. It's, I actually have to learn how to care for myself to deal with a chronic disease or to deal with an issue over a long term. So I made a little table here and I drew from some different sources, but I thought it would be useful to kind of go through why the problems are different and in specific aspects. So if we have the examples which I gave before of sort of things that you might have acute care for like a broken leg or a flu, and I put an asthma attack because there's actually, you can have an acute issue related to a chronic disease, right? So I don't want you to think they're totally separate. So a chronic disease might be asthma, but you might have an acute, what we'll say, episode with an asthma attack. And the duration, as I said, sort of shorter term, has a beginning and an end when it's acute, whereas when it's chronic, it tends to be like at least long term, if not lifelong. So now we get into sort of the differences in the problem. So what are the goals? Well, with acute care, we're trying to fix or cure, as I said, and we're also trying to get back to sort of how we were before, or normal. I put that in quotes, because I mean, I'm definitely not normal. I don't know about any of you. Um, but, and then when we look at chronic care, actually it's to manage symptoms. It's actually to prevent those acute episodes, right? And it's actually more about quality of life living with something. So whereas the patient can be sort of passive in acute care, they can just, either you're unconscious, like for my surgeries, I was blissfully passive, um, I would say, but you know, in terms of having a say in your care, you're just gonna receive the care. You follow the plan, the prescription, you take the um, medication, or you go in for the surgery, and the focus is on the part of you that they're trying to fix. Whereas when the patient is dealing with acute care, you know, you have to be active, as we said, an active participant. So when you leave the healthcare uh, setting, you actually have to go home and do a lot of things for yourself. And as well, you need to ask for what you need because each patient actually will have slightly different needs, even with the same chronic disease. So someone who has diabetes, um, who lives in a very different situation than someone else with diabetes, might need a different type of treatment. Which is, you know, it doesn't usually work that way with acute care, where you know everyone who has this tuberculosis will usually get the same sort of you know, treatment plan. So what about the care provider? What do we, how would we describe the care provider in these different situations? Well, again, there's overlap. They're still an expert um, in chronic care, but they also have to be a partner in care. They have to share in the decision making with the patient. They need to support that patient to self-manage and listen to the individual needs of the patient and kind of work in a collaborative way, right? Whereas the old model, if we look at this acute model, they didn't really need to do that. They could just play the no, I know everything and I'm gonna tell you what to do role and that worked, right? So, um, so and again, it's sort of the same, if uh, it's acute care, the same issue has the same treatment. Now we're looking at, I have to think about this individual patient's needs. If we were to summarize it kind of in a, in a quick way, I would say acute care does amazing things to patients, right? Or for them, so the patient doesn't really have to be active. Whereas chronic care, I think we're doing things with patients much more. And I think it's very important to highlight that it often also means doing things with the families and the caregivers. So now that we have thought a bit about why maybe patients should be more active, they should be partners in healthcare, where are we, are we seeing any change in the actual system to reflect this? And are we seeing, where are we seeing that change? Um, where do we, we see it happening? <laughs>